Hi, and welcome to another story time brought to you by ABC Read, in which we are here to help develop and nurture that love of reading in every child. Did you know another read aloud fact is that children who are regularly read to on a consistent basis, guess what? You actually become a role model for reading for that child. That's right. When they see you get pumped and excited about reading, they will follow your lead. Remember to please read to your children, grandchildren, siblings, or whomever for at least 20 minutes a day. And this is the book that I have for you all today that I'm going to read uh, from for you all. And the title of this book is called, What Color Is My World? The Lost History of African American Inventors. The authors are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Raymond Obstfeld. The illustrators are Ben Bowles and A.G. Ford. And today, the African American inventor that I chose to tell you all about, his name is Dr. Mark Dean. Now, when you think about computers, you need to think about this man right here. He developed the color graphics adapter, which gave color to PC displays. He also led the team that developed the world's first gigahertz micro processor. Now, I know I just said a mouthful for you all. So hopefully what you all will do is look up those words if you, you know, maybe struggling a little bit with the meaning of those words. Because guess what? I'm going to be doing the same thing. Well, Dr. Mark Dean, he and another scientist, they invented the Industry Standard Architecture, or ISA, Systems Bus, which is the, the doohickey or the thing that allows you to connect external devices such as printers or keyboards. He made the computer practical for the rest of us. In fact, Dr. Dean holds three of the nine patents for the original IBM personal computer and holds more than 40 patents in all. And like I said in the beginning, I was just going to give you a few facts about Dr. Mark Dean. And hopefully what you all will do is do more research to find out about this brilliant inventor. Remember, keep reading at least 20 minutes a day. Happy reading. <laughs>